Are you gonna help me record? Are you so happy? <coughs> yes, you are. You want all my plants. Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Oh! Shh, fussy, I'm busy. Okay, I will cuddle with you later. <laughs> hey guys, it's Stephanie and Fuzzy. Um, thank you for joining both of us here today. We're going to be propagating one of my succulents that needs to be propagated. Are you gonna help me? Fuzzy, I know you want attention. Do you see all that cat hair? Get your butt out of the camera. <laughs> so I am going to be propagating one of my succulents today. Um, one of my, oh, come on. I showed this in my, <laughs> I showed this succulent in my video that I got um, on outdoor gardening and ways that you can <laughs> kind of help bees. Get, you need to get your butt cleaned. Go. So I showed the succulent in my outdoor gardening bees tips video and I just kind of got this on a whim. Um, it was not in the best condition in the store. Obviously it was completely falling out of the pot, about to fall off the shelf. So I just got it to kind of rescue it. As cool as this looks, you can't see it, but as cool as this looks, I don't really want this to continue growing this way because this is just not gonna make for anything. This is pointless. And this whole thing is pointless. And this, I just, I don't know. I feel like this is just time for us to start over. So I've been watching some videos on propagating succulents and I have actually started propagating my succulents in, what are you doing? I've propagated my succulents in water um, because I have found that to be a much better method. Oh. <laughs> it's so much better. But yeah, I'll show you a close up of my water dish. Hey, can you stop? So I just have some rocks in this shallow dish and I fill it with water every day. I'm gonna like set up a better system than this, but um, this is actually working and it's working better and faster than propagating my succulents on dirt. Come on. So I'm going to um, do that with a bunch of these leaves and I honestly can't remember if you need to let them callous over before you put them in water. But um, I also have seen that this, because this is a pretty established stem, this should start to grow new flowers um, through all of these points where a lot of these leaves have broken off. So I'm just kind of down in this pretty spot right here. So what I'm planning to do is cut the stem probably about right here and then uh, maybe right there. Hopefully this stem will get some growth on it. I think I'm gonna leave this guy because he's tiny and then I'm going to move my phone out of the way. And then I'm going to um, probably cut the stem about here, take all of these leaves off, try to propagate these leaves, and then I'm actually gonna try to also um, propagate this portion of the stem. So hopefully from this one plant, I can get a bunch of different plants. Hopefully. I've not had any success. Like I've gotten succulents to propagate, but then I've killed them. At, like putting them into soil. So we're gonna, we're gonna be busy. We gotta do stuff. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. I have cleaned these scissors off with rubbing alcohol. So guess I'm just gonna cut. I don't know if I'm supposed to cut this straight or at an angle. It probably doesn't matter. Let's cut that right about. That should, that should be pretty cool. And then I'm just fuzzy. No one can see. Get down, get down, get down. I'm just gonna take all these leaves off by just kind of popping them off. I'm so sad to do this because this was like a nice, healthy plant, but I'm not gonna have room for something crazy like that. And I already have one of these. It's going kind of crazy. So I'll probably leave that. How do we want to do this? Let's do, let's just give it a fresh start. Stop it. Hey, you gotta get down, fuzzy. So these should all hopefully, hopefully at least one of them will become another plant. But I am going to be propagating these in water, as I said. I might try to put some of them on the soil just because I have so many. I'm gonna be really sad if this doesn't grow. This little pot here, where my other 
the plants have come from. This is actually really dry soil as opposed to this is like extremely wet because this got rained on for forever. So I am gonna cut this. Oh, you didn't see that. So I cut this in half. I'm going to, I saw this suggestion from another YouTuber. So that's gonna go in and hopefully that will, actually that's a little bit big. Let's cut that this This is a really cool piece of quartz um, that we found outside and it actually, you're not gonna be able to see it Maybe you will. It has like a little bit of moonstone, I think, in it. It's really cool. It's like a very small spot. So then this also hopefully grow some flowers. It's kind of a weird little weird little arrangement there. So yeah, all these little notches that you can see in the plant where leaves used to be should either produce roots, I believe, or I think it will produce little baby plants. So actually, now that I'm thinking about that, I don't think that this will produce. Actually, I don't know. I'm just gonna shut up, because I don't know. So we'll see what this does. I'm going to leave it dry for about a week. I think that's what you're supposed to do. You don't really wanna water it because the plant doesn't have any, can't really do anything with the water. And this one I'm just gonna put outside, kind of in a shadyish spot, let it do its thing. So I have to go, I guess. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like it if you like this video and subscribe. I would love to have you around. Um, that way you can get notifications whenever I post new videos. You can find me on Instagram if you want at Simple Care Steph or on my website, simplecareproducts.com. I have a blog and then also some plant-based skincare that I make myself with Fudsy's help. Okay, say bye-bye. We gotta go bye-bye. Are you gonna say bye? Oh, oh, that's what you want. That is what you want. I know. You're so happy. So happy. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. He's back again. Sorry, I'm trying to talk. Fuzzy, hey, okay. So this plant is doing well so far. The stem, I can't really tell how it's doing. Nothing is growing on top. Um, and I pulled it out of the dirt. It doesn't seem to be growing any roots. So I may change things up. Not sure. This is my little uh, succulent propagation chamber. And let's see if I can. So a lot of these are starting to get a little bit of a uh, kind of node on there. Pretty much all of the succulents in this dish are forming those and then these are some of the little pieces that I put sorry my nails are gross uh, pieces that I put on soil so you can see those are kind of pretty much doing the same thing so there we go so it looks like somehow I may actually be getting both of these to work which is pretty cool um, and I actually just laid these on top of the soil in my alocasia, honestly. And I, because I missed my alocasia every day, um, I don't know, it just has, it's happy, it's working there, I guess. So I'm probably just going to put these back there and keep letting them do their thing. And then I'm going to keep the rest of these in the water and hopefully have a bunch of plants. Are you in my way? <coughs> yes, you are. Thank you for helping me set up my camera, though. Fuzzy, you're gonna have to get down. You're gonna have to get down. Yes. I told you. Okay, say hello. And then you're okay. Okay, now say goodbye. <laughs>